Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to new subscribers on my channel. Are you still watching the book? Then don't forget to subscribe. So quickly, let's get into the video and let's explore Erkar, the places to be visited. Early morning, we left Bangalore and we stopped for a good breakfast at Tamil Nadu border. By the time we reached Erkar, it was like mid-afternoon, like 1.32. We already had booked this resort, the Lake Forest Resort at Erkar, which is surrounded by cafe plantation facing Erkar Lake. This was just 4 kilometers from Kiliar Falls. You can see it in the video now. Chocolate lovers, you can completely shop the handmade chocolates at Chocolate Factory which has pure cocoa chocolate available at Lady Seat Road. As soon as we checked in, we got a good lunch from them and after that we got refreshed and we went towards the Kiliar Falls as you can see now. From the resort it was just 4 kilometers but you had to truck 2 kilometers which is 200 steps far towards the falls. This is Kiliar waterfall. This water flows from Erkard Lake 91 meters into the Kiliar Valley. Next location is Piku Park as you can see this is specifically for birds. For bird lovers you can go ahead there are variety of birds which you can see and this park has hand tamed birds they give the birds in your hands plan accordingly because the park opens at 10 and closes at 5 pm we really wanted to get in but by the time we just got down from Kiliar Falls it was already 4 45 Now you should be thinking, am I alright showing you bonfire in month of March? No, because we had planned this trip at February 1st week, which the weather was too chill. We took the dinner from a famous hotel, Thambi Prabhakaran at Yerkad. The biryani was mouth-watering and the fish was very nice. We had a good well good night sleep and the next day morning when we were checking out we had a complimentary breakfast in the hotel. Why you have to select the complimentary breakfast in hotel because it has the cost cutting which comes with your price of the room. They served a proper South Indian breakfast which was idli, samba, dosa, pongal with watermelon juice. Why have I mentioned the food restaurants? Trying new foods is the best part of traveling. You can explore and discover foods that you have never tried before. After the breakfast, we checked out the room and we wanted to visit Lord Murgan Temple which was at Salem district which is 146 foot statue of Lord Murgan claimed to be the world tallest Murgan statue located at Sri Muttumale Murgan Tirukoil at Atur, Salem, Chennai National Highway. As said, it's good to be visited on Wednesday with following devotees and darshans. The temple vibes was different. If you had time, you can take a token for the darshana of Lord Murgan and they will take you to elevator with the Kalash water. You can pour it on God. Lastly, we visited this Shavrayan Hills. 
which is famous for several old coffee plantation and sanatorium magnificent view of lush green towering trees and hills so ending my video here this was the one day trip from bangalore to erkad so as you see in the video i have covered all the visiting places of erkad to watch more content videos like this don't forget to like share and subscribe signing off bye bye